Okay, so um, let's pray and then we'll start. Yeah. Father, we thank you for this day. Lord, we thank you for the goodness and mercy that comes from you, Lord, each and every day. Father, we thank you, Lord, for the, all the benefits that you load each day with, Lord, as your word says. Lord, we thank you for your goodness. We thank you for your grace. We thank you for your favor, Lord. Uh, Master God, this, this day we commit into your mighty hands. We pray that you will lead us into all that you have for us, Lord. Father God, we, we just pray that we'll choose to, Lord, walk in all your ways all the time, Lord, that we'll choose to please you and delight, Lord, uh, in your uh, del and cause delight for your heart, O oh Master, in all our actions and thoughts and speech and, Lord, everything about us, Father God may be pleasing to you, Father God. Yes, Lord, as the psalmist prayed and as he said, let the words of our mouths and the meditation of our hearts be acceptable to you, Lord, uh, our Lord and Savior. We give you all the praise and all the glory at this time. In Jesus' matchless name we pray. Amen. <clears throat> okay. Um, hi, everyone. Welcome. And uh, today, uh, in today's IRP, I just wanted to know the status of... Uh, uh, what uh, everyone is doing and uh, how things are proceeding, uh, because next, um, you know, if you, if you see the um, uh, our timeline, uh, let me just uh, share that we have um, one submission coming up, right? Submission. It is actually to do with. Um, yeah, let me just share the screen so you can take a look. Um, a window. Um, so sorry. Um, yeah. Okay. I I guess you can see that. Is it coming up? Yeah. Okay. So we have one coming up next Tuesday. Okay, um, so uh, you know, I just need to reword this a little bit. You know, uh, actually, I, what I've mentioned here is that the, you have to submit a draft of the paper with your current status. Okay, so it is actually a draft of your current status. Okay, so it's not a draft of the paper. I realize that um, um, that you would not have started writing the paper as yet. Right, you are still in the uh, maybe investigation stage of the report. You are still in the studying and putting together material. So you may not uh, be at that stage of uh, actually starting to write, which you may do, um, you know, probably by next month. So, um, so what we will do is uh, you just have to submit maybe a one page write up about uh, the status of your the current status you know, of of your uh, project work, right? So, uh, for example. Uh, let me so it, so this is I hope this is clear so it's on or before 9 a.m. on Tuesday the 1st of March right so um, so whatever the status is you know um, just wanted to know that uh, so that we know what each person is doing so I get to know what each person is doing so that um, if there is any you know guidance that's required if there's any course correction that's required i can share share that uh, with you right so um, so you just need to give me uh, 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 an update on the status so uh, you can include things like uh, okay what is the material that you've been studying that you've been preparing um, just go ahead and mention that so you of course uh, you put the topic right on the top and then you mention the uh, the material that you've been uh, background material that you've been preparing, whatever you've been reading, whatever you've been you know, preparing. So that will give me uh, an idea and maybe I can suggest some additional readings or some things that, that can be useful, helpful, um, some other resources uh, on the topic. So you could do that. So you could also mention, uh, you know, from where, you know, if there is any uh, links, internet links, uh, please, uh, you mentioned that if any pages that you've seen, any videos that you've been watching, just put the link so I can uh, I can go through that. Right? I, can, I can take a look at that. I can just review that uh, and see uh, if it is useful. I'll be able to just skim through it, of course. Um, and um, the second part of it is if you've come to, uh, if for those of you who are 
like meeting with people who are interviewing people just mention that okay i've met so many people uh, you know mention the number and also the kind of interactions that you had or you maybe you've called um, you know so many people uh, n number of people so you mention that and say okay i've called uh, so many people and this has been the outcome um, or maybe you've been uh, using questionnaires and you've been sending out questionnaires uh, you've been getting responses you could mention that also okay and uh, um, and and see what kind of responses that you've been getting you know in case of questionnaires if um, you know if it's if it's satisfactory right if if you if people have been able to respond with enough information then we could probably we could see if if you know the 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 right kind of information that you required is not you're not getting that so maybe we could relook and see okay how else can we you know maybe we need to reframe things reword um, things a bit so uh, i mean the questions a bit so uh, we could look into that okay so so that is about uh, your submission on or before uh, march 1st uh, 9 am by uh, tuesday so then we can discuss that um, on on wednesday okay so that's about it um but today i just want to know is, is there any any help or any uh, maybe each of us can take some time to just share where things are what you've been doing uh, any difficulties faced um how things are progressing okay maybe thomas kan and dev you know you guys can just um, share and uh, yeah probably thomas you can start followed by kanan and then dev right so thomas is uh, revival in karnataka right so how's that going how's the background work background check uh, what's the problem? any update on the progress yes past we can able to uh, contact with the person in uh, mandya and mysore only two districts can able to get some informations okay so trying to each other districts as well okay so all the other uh, districts uh, do you have contacts in all the other districts um uh, that's the problem other districts i don't have contacts i'm searching mm. anybody know somebody there to reach out like that i see okay okay um because i think uh, you will need to do that quickly um maybe uh, a church there or um, um you know uh, something of that sort right maybe like each district will definitely have um, some church some uh, but but what kind of uh, like contacts are you um, getting in touch with like uh, even these two mandya and uh, the other district right so uh, like what kind of are, are they pastors are they um, ministers the uh, their best friends their church goers i checked mm. with them their mm. family is uh, came to uh, the salvation through a missionary long back the forefathers okay. okay. so that time they had a such a move of god where mm. one street to uh, there's a church called sade memorial church that's a csc okay. church okay that whole street uh, there are a lot of christians i visited once that's why i called and checked how's the things oh. and all okay so their parents sold everything uh, somewhere in the village and came to stay near the church just to mm-hmm. attend the service and hear the sermon of uh, sade uh, the missionary so oh, wow. that kind of moment in that time so i called that person and mm-hmm. they know the things and all, how the how the things worked there their forefathers and all so okay. i collect that information but today only uh, just one or two independent churches are there and uh, tradition churches have become so tradition they're not mm. uh, much work so that is why uh, the work has stopped long before the what mystery has did today mm. we cannot see that progress because nobody taken that burden to carry forward uh, i see like that uh, <clears throat> met the persons those who are know very well like that okay so it will also yeah this is first person accounts right like in the sense uh, people who actually experienced the revival who are there right so that's wonderful so maybe you can check with them you know who was the pastor there or who uh, uh, who were the ministers there um, and who who else 
you know was there around that time so you can so it will just help validate you know their account you know whatever they have experienced and uh, you know because it's just not one person saying it but you have two others maybe you know like what of god says two or three witnesses right um every word is established so i mean so just to get like three different or four different perspectives of the same event if they were there at that time so that would be really useful um so yeah um so it, it can be people who were there who were part of it people who i mean it would be great if um you know if uh, anybody from that family of that missionary if you could contact um any idea thomas that missionary who was there um uh, missionary family i didn't know first because they are from uh, you know london they came here and preached i don't know their mm. roots here but uh, the people uh-huh. who say from that uh, missionary mm. they are still uh, living there as the generation after generation like that only i met that uh, family okay yeah. I I try to reach uh, some of the pastors there. Uh, yeah. Get... Yeah, so maybe they interacted with this person, you know, with this missionary who came down and uh when if you check online maybe I mean you might be able to find out also. You know, like if you know from which church, you know, he came. Um like if it's some denominational church, no, normally there will be a track, there will be a record uh, of uh, who served when and then Uh, you can even you know maybe get in touch with the family get in touch with some of you know the next generation or the generation after that and then um who knows you know they will be able to give some valid information also that will that will also you know uh, further add uh, strength to whatever you are presenting right whatever you are putting together um says so uh, rather than just being you know one person one one person's uh, um viewpoint it would be two three others and also people from the family so it will be helpful so you can try that out um sure. yeah so so thomas i let me just uh, share um, um you know the, about the districts right so so you have all these districts i hope it's coming on the screen yeah so you have all these districts uh right be there you know uh yeah kalburgi uh, this gulbarga vijayapura yadgiri so all these districts are there so you will have to move a little quicker in order to get the information right so i'm sure you will be able to get so you know if you just break it down how many are there i think 26 huh? i am not sure 1 2 3 4 5 6 I think thirty-two, uh, districts are. Okay. Uh, let's see. Seven, eight, nine, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, six, six, seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine. Yeah, thirty-two. So, um, so then you can, you know, quickly uh, divide it and say maybe in a week's time, you know, or maybe even quicker than that, you can, you know, take uh, um, contact probably six to seven, cover six to seven districts. in a day and then you can finish that in a week um so uh like if you do that then uh getting that information is fine and then once you do that then you know you can you can just follow up on that and keep uh, doing it but then you you try to you know ha- have something like this in front of you now these are the districts you list down the districts and um and then you can list down okay in raichur who are the you know what is the church I, I, i'm sure you, you know the traditional churches the websites will be there um you know csi or um, ag and and you can find out if they were there around that time <coughs> excuse me and um, yeah so something on those lines um yeah but you'll have to you know get more into it so right now it's uh, mysore and mandya is it right right so uh, my sudan mandia yeah okay i could also once visited but uh, i'm mm. try to get the information their methodist movement is very mm. uh, very beautiful at that time but i didn't know much information on trying to get it okay okay and maybe um, you know some some of these moves uh, whatever whatever has happened would have been across uh, districts even you know it may not be localized to one district it may have you know been neighboring districts also people would have come and would have uh, you know heard about the same kind of move of god and and so 
so that also would be there so you'll be able to cover things quicker so but the thing is to find out okay um uh, i mean if you don't know people over there best thing is to you know just to look into uh, look online and see um you know what is the church what are the uh, you know what is the church which is doing ministry and then and then try to contact the present pastor and and then you know they they will definitely they'll be able to give some information about who was there earlier prior to them and uh, and so on so you can uh, you know take it from there and then uh, move quickly and cover the rest yeah so um so i i one, one thing that i would say is that um, you just do it uh, regularly consistently and also uh, try to you know quickly finish it uh, the at least the information gathering stage then you can think about how to put it together right and uh, and then you know you're you're doing your uh, uh your your recommendations right you're doing a study and then so this information is very important so this needs to be you know uh, quickly gathered so that you can evaluate you know you're going to evaluate and see okay what happened so it's, it's a lot of work um so so i would suggest you know if you feel that it's even right now uh, i know you said karnataka but then even right now if you feel that okay um it's too much you can restrict to south karnataka or coastal karnataka or north karnataka you know you can even uh, i think those are the big chunks you know central karnataka uh, so you can you can even do that you know like belgavi uttara kannada um, udupi dakshina kannada kodagu you know all this would be the coastal uh, that is a you know the west coast so you could you could even focus like that okay so so that you can go in depth into what happened rather than a very you know superficial thing so but i leave it to you so um, if you feel that you want to break it up that way that's also fine yeah that's a great suggestion past because mm. uh, it's quite difficult to go depth and do the uh, study about the 32 districts i mm. can check out uh, how can i can do south or coast or not yeah i'll think about it i'll do that yeah so i uh, i'm i'm just suggesting this geographical thing but it can even be like uh, you know in these 10 districts or 15 districts whatever you know it can like if, if even if you are picking several districts from all over uh maybe from north one from, few from south through from the same that is also fine so but uh, in whatever way you do it it'll be good to go in depth and find out because that's going to take time you know going back backtracking to see who were there and then um, but it'll be a very uh, a satisfactory fruitful work <clears throat> to find out and also to you know to recommend to the church saying this is what happened in our own you know in our own state this is what happened so you know Uh, and 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 things like you know whatever you've studied in revivals visitations and habit you know uh, moves of god um you can also you know ask those questions you know so what happened prior to that you know was there a preparatory thing what happened prior to that you know, were people praying were people really asking or you know was it a sovereign move of god you know people were not expecting and it just happened so those kind of things right and uh, so what happened during that time you know where the salvations where the supernatural uh, you know uh, uh, encounters so you might come up with some i mean you might find out some very interesting things that would have happened there um <clears throat> and it will be great to record those also okay okay so uh, yeah kannan can you share something about the work that you're doing uh yeah 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 i'm also collecting uh, data about my uh, project uh i have a person who is there in uh, new greece so uh, he he know uh, very well about those uh, about that community uh, just tell me the, the, which is that community again uh, kanan um uh, pania okay yeah mm. okay uh, also he, he is a pastor he he is a, he have a contact with uh, pania pastors so okay. i i can take help from him. yeah but uh, yeah just start off you know if if there are pastors and you the thing you contact them um uh, and then ask them and uh, you know when did it start what what is the thing uh, but in the meantime side by side you know parallelly what you should do is also find out about, more about that community so has that work started like uh, their beliefs their uh, uh, culture 
uh, what are yeah. they yeah, for 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 these informations i i'm uh, i i i found something on my uh, chrome yeah internet okay okay yeah so um, <clears throat> so if you um, you know if you can see there is one resource called the joshua project uh it's more yeah, of uh, I, yeah you've, you've seen that so, yeah yeah mm-hmm. i seen but uh, that was very confusing is it uh huh yeah i can i couldn't find uh, uh like uh, yeah i could not find the this mm. panya uh, like particularly oh, oh, oh i see it's showing like a uh, mm. all panya thing okay but i need only that particular group Mm-hmm. so there's one page called people groups and um one, one second let me just share that with you um, okay like off hand i could just think of this um i think it's coming up yeah so yeah it has um, people group list find a people group okay let's try that um okay so select a country yeah region um okay wow there's two three and so a lot of information here um so you'll have to do the focus kind of a research i'm sure um you said paniyas no p uh, yeah okay okay let's just scroll down let's see if the... oh okay it's 2000 so i think it's quite a big list um let's just go down to Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay, um B A N Is it Panan? No. No, no, no. Okay, Panika is there. Panian. Uh, no, no, it's it's up there. Um, the top one, Panier. I mean, no, 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 no. Top one, top one. this one na that is pallier yeah ah uh, what pallier oh. pallier p a l l i r okay okay uh, okay i thought pallier p a n okay just you go through this pannan is there and then uh, uh, panika panikan yeah, yeah, panian yeah, yeah. is there uh, so must be panian but uh, hmm. let's see they are so the top one the tamil panikan yeah we can oh. take that one or else it will one more is there th- something like uh, okay uh, christian evangelical frontier so information is here it's uh, definitely tamil nadu um okay and some information here uh, no this is actually they say okay anyway just go through this uh, go through this list and you could also maybe uh, contact them you know uh, and check with them so and see what is the updated uh, I'm, i'm not sure how current this information is so you could find out so this is you know all the work that has done the resources that is there um okay so anyway you 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 have this link no uh, karan you yeah i have i have yeah you have this okay so so try this um and maybe uh, you know another which is also sounding the same okay so you could do this um yeah but but get that information parallelly right so uh, to get uh, information about the group you know i think uh, you need to find out as much as possible about this people group you know um like the origins yeah, we the can sense, found, uh, uh, not in the this one uh, joshua project uh, we simply search no we can find the, oh, the cultural okay. things about uh, yeah panias sure yeah, yeah yeah joshua project will probably give you some information about uh, what is the kind of evangelistic work which was done 
you know mission yeah. mission work which was done yeah so that is the thing yeah if you can get uh, other information yeah cultural this thing their involvement and and also typically you know uh um some of their customs some of their traditions and uh, and also um what are the challenges they face you know and uh, so things like that right so how many numbers how many are there what are the efforts done uh how and of course you can come to the place of saying okay this is this is what they believe this is how it is um you know uh, whether they have the bible in their language um uh and and so on right you can do that okay so but um, but can and just uh, uh, like uh, f- uh, like what i told thomas uh, you just speed up the work like speed up the work maybe you can just take one day fully if you can or maybe two half days and just get all this information in you know about them and then uh, and then you know put it put it aside you have all this information you've collected it and you need to you can't really copy paste right so you'll have to uh you know yeah. put it together in your words so you can do that of course you can mention the source uh you know whether which link which page or, so you can mention that um but get that like out of the way so you have it you've already collected it and you can focus on you know uh, on the work like contacting the people finding out what work work was done how they are continuing uh, and you know typically certain uh challenges they might face is like uh, the community is very strong and uh, or maybe you know for people who uh, uh yeah like who who accept christ maybe they you know they are excommunicated right they are uh, they get alienated from the community and they're not allowed to be part of the community uh, and so on so um you know things like that you know, challenges like that they might be facing or several other challenges um so uh, so you can get into those details uh, and also find out what is it you know in your addressing uh, of how to reach out how to uh, be better at the thing so these things can be addressed right um, uh, so how to present the truth without really uh, break or, or even a cultural thing you know how how is christianity perceived like how is the message of the gospel perceived is it seen as something foreign something you know um, like a western uh, uh, you know thing coming in something changing the culture something that is uh, upsetting you know what is it what is it seen as right so because um, you know so these kind of barriers uh, maybe those are really hindering the effort so how can we present it in a way uh, without these cultural barriers you know how can we present it in the language how can we present it uh, in a in a way that's uh, that uh, that's accepting you know the 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 gospel is offensive we know that but we don't have to add to it by having all these uh, you know the cultural barriers etc we just can present the truth and uh, and you know uh, uh, without all this right so uh so you could find out right so speed up the work right okay right okay dev uh any updates from your side yes sir um yeah uh, just recently i've got an got an access to 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 the the library christian library here okay i've the, just borrowed some of the books what i found out was that uh we don't have much um writer for written uh most of local writers i mm-hmm. i found a book from cindy perry cindy l perry two books from cindy perry which mm-hmm. might be uh, a bi- biological history of christian uh Christ- history of the church in nepal and nepalese around the world and i i found um a, the the biography of uh of the pastor who translated the bible first bible in nepali okay um, i uh, i did find a, a local writer but mm-hmm. uh, i i was planning to interview with with the pastor but okay. i found out that he's um, he's no more here and he's he's passed away already so i don't think i can uh, interview with the, with the pastor about the the book and mm. uh, and some other thing uh, that i've uh, i'm looking into is uh, is from the, from the internet and found out that most of the uh, actually uh, the ingos most of many uh, namely umn uh, was one of the 
first uh, I and you to come and help uh, establish churches in Nepal. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. So I'm looking into all those things. Okay. Okay. Right. So any uh, missionary uh, um, like organizations that you're able to contact, you know, they might also be able to like missionary organizations, Bible translation, you know, work. They also will be able to, you know, they'll have a strong uh, like a background historical information. Um, and also, of course, you're contacting these pastors. Um, um, who else? Um, yeah, uh, I mean, the, the church that you're part of, maybe the, the pastor himself uh, will be able to help. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Uh, yeah. The thing is, the, the most of the, the the gospel came into Nepal was from from the the eastern part of Nepal, mm -hmm. uh, where where in in Darjeeling and uh, and in Sikkim and and Kalimpong, uh, it is already a part of India. Right. So, so uh, the first influence was from there, and because of the prayer and 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 the work that they did, the 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 gospel could come into Nepal, and. And uh, <clears throat> very close to our church, there is a church from 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 the pastor was from 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 uh, India, Kalimpong. The, okay. But the the thing is, <clears throat> on the second <clears throat> um, second wave of the COVID, we lost both the father and the son. Mm. So, yeah. Wow, that's sad. Mm. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, there also I couldn't be, I wasn't able to uh, mm -hmm. get contact. Mm -hmm. the but I'm still trying to find at least some uh, who I can at least in interview and uh, try to gain the first first hand knowledge uh, okay. of the thing. Yes, mm -hmm. Okay. Anyway, so I'll, I'll also see if there's anything that I can get. You know, they, they, I'm sure there must be some um, some research uh, or some papers presented um, on the subject. So maybe we can check we have access to that i'll share that with you you can take a look at that as well sure, yeah. sure. Thanks, right. okay Fine. okay so um yeah so that is all that i wanted to uh, share and also get an update uh, i'm sure if others were there we could have you know had a, a slightly longer conversation and um, discuss that also um Okay, so we'll meet next week, right? Um, and but but before that, just give an update and uh, also uh, um, let there be a lot of progress in the coming days, right? Uh, maybe over the weekend you can you can actually finish a lot of work. In, now we're actually on Wednesday, right? It's uh, it's midweek, so you can do a lot more work, uh, cover a lot more ground, um, and then you can give an update. Uh, you can submit that update um, by Tuesday. Right. Okay. Fine. Right. Thank you. All the best. We'll uh, we'll wind up now. If there are no questions or any clarifications, then we'll we'll uh, stop here. Any any doubts or clarifications? Anything that I can answer? It's fine. Okay. Right. Okay. Fine. Thank you. We'll. Uh, We'll meet next week, right? God bless. Bye-bye.